Police would arrive to a quiet street near Asteria Park Elementary School. The circumstances did not seem violent. There were several calls about a woman wandering the street naked. She had also tried to get inside a delivery driver's vehicle. The officers arrived and tried to get the woman to her home and to put clothes on, but she resisted. She would tell them, you have to take me to the police station. I need to go to the police station. I have committed a grievous crime. The woman was later identified as Arlene Tucker, 58 years old, a former licensed healthcare provider whose license expired last year. She had been a resident of Tallahassee for the past five years. She led the police to a home she now shared with her elderly mother, Lucille Mae Tucker, 84. Her mom had moved in with her one year prior with failing health, and now Arlene was taking care of her. As the officers walked inside the home, immediately they seen what looked like a human organ in the middle of the floor, six to eight feet from the front door. Arlene began breathing hard, grunting, and rambling. Another officer went to find clothes for Arlene to put on. There were traces of blood on the wall, blood in the bathroom, and in the bathroom sink. The officer knocked on a back bedroom door. There was no answer. They opened it up. There was a woman lying on the bed. She had several sharp gashes and a large open wound on her chest. It had become clear. The organ in the room was a human heart that belonged to Lucille Tucker. The bloody knife sat on the dresser in the same room. Arlene had killed her mother and removed her heart. Lucille Tucker was shy 11 days of her 85th birthday. Officers called for backup and asked Arlene to sit down on the couch. She did, while wrapping a blanket over her still naked body. She began to laugh nervously. She told officers she needed to end it or the saga would continue until she was behind bars. She removed her mother's heart. She wanted to look at it. She wanted to inspect it. That's what she said. Quote, I murdered my mom. She was mean to me, but I didn't care. I loved her black color but she didn't love mine, end quote. A family member believed to be her daughter had stated she seemed uneasy around 8 a.m. that morning. She called and asked, if you could be anyone other than yourself, who would she be? Then, Arlene hung up. Her daughter called her back. Arlene didn't pick up. She called back again. Arlene now answered, but didn't speak. Arlene's daughter believes she may have had schizophrenia. Now at the police department, officers advised Arlene of her Miranda rights, but she continued talking even after the interview ended. She spoke to herself nonstop for hours with admissions of killing her mother. 40 years ago, Arlene was hospitalized and again in 2009 with, quote, similar issues, unquote. However, those issues were not clear. According to Leon County court records, Arlene Tucker's first court appearance was Friday morning and she pled not guilty. The court had ordered an expert to evaluate her and determine if she can stand trial. She is currently in Leon County Detention Facility. Of course, I looked on her social media page. I wanted to see if there was any pictures of her mother and I didn't see any. However, ironically, she had a brother who passed away in June of 2023 and he was a police officer.